Lynn's New York correspondent Matthew Healy quotes Siegel President Scott Treppel as saying, the U.S. stamp market is deep enough and strong enough to absorb a $5.75 million sale of 1,000 lots in three days. Outstanding realizations include $356,500 for a pair of one of America's first government-issued coil stamps, the one cent Franklin of 1908, perforated 12 horizontally, $207,000 for an unused pair of the scarce three cent Washington Orangeburg coil, $287,500 for a spectacular block of four of the four cent invert from the 1901 Pan American set, and $345,000 for the wide margin position 69 of the 1918 inverted Jenny airmail error. Looking ahead, New Great Britain stamps will honor the Magna Carta. Words from the Fifth Amendment to the United States Constitution are inscribed on a stamp to be issued June 2nd by Great Britain's Royal Mail. This stamp is part of a set of six commemorating the 800th anniversary of the Magna Carta signed by King John of England in Runnymede on June 15, 1215. The Magna Carta is a pioneering document in the history of human rights. The new stamps to be issued June 2nd feature the Magna Carta and major international bills and declarations inspired by it that have been issued to protect civil liberties and rights. One of these documents is the American Bill of Rights. The quote on the Bill of Rights stamp comes from the Fifth Amendment and reads, no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. Lynn's senior editor, Denise McCarty, describes the stamps in detail in the upcoming June 1st issue of Lynn Stamp News. For Lynn Stamp News and Amos Media, I'm Chad Snee. Have a fantastic week enjoying our wonderful hobby. Cheers. Mm -hmm.